everyone! Today we will open up four pre-release packs for Ravnica Allegiance. We have the Simic, the Azorius, the Orzov and the Raktos. I got these for my birthday today, so let's open them up. All in one big video. I actually skipped the entire uh, pre-release of this set, so I really have no idea uh, how these boxes are uh, compiled. So let's start off with Rakdos. Carnage, Revelry and Freedom. Alright, so we uh, have, of course, the Rakdos die. We get, of course, six... Oh, wait, five packs? Oh, right, and then the sixth one is a special pack um, with Rakdos cards. So we have a Theater of Horrors as our pre-release promo. For three, we have an enchantment. At the beginning of your upkeep, exile the top card of your library. During your turn, if an opponent lost life this turn, you may play cards exiled with Theater of Horrors. And then for four, a Theater of Horrors deals one damage to target opponent or Planeswalker. Alright, and what else do we have here? A divider and how to make a pre-release deck. Right. So, let's take a look at what this contains. Um, right, so we have a Rakdos Locket, a Fire Raid Artist, Gates Ablaze, Bankrupt in Blood, Dead Revels, Spike Wheel Acrobat, Get the Point, Blade Juggler, a Spear Spewer, Rakdos Trumpeter, Storm Strike, Footlight Fiend, Undercity Scavenger, and we have a Rakdos Guild Gate. And a code for uh, the pre-release. And on the back, a token. Right, so that's the Raktos one. I will... No, I will just open them right now. So, alright, so the commons are just that. Gruul Beastmaster, uh, Clear the Stage, Bulrak Clan Crusher, and we have a Bedevil, which is also a Rakdos card, so that's good. Uh, Destroy Target Artifact Creature or Planeswalker, so that's a nice card for three. Uh, Azorius Guildgate and a Treasure Token. Okay. Some more commons. Skate Wing Spy, a Frilled Mystic, a Gate Colossus, and a Benthic Biomancer. Uh, for one blue, a 1 1 with two Adept 1. Uh, whenever one or more plus one plus one counters are put on Benthic Biomancer, draw a card, then discard a card. Rector's Guild Gate, and another token. Tin Street Dodger. We have a Sphinx of the Guild Pact. And we have a Hacrobat. And as a rare here, we have a Hero of Precinct 1. That's for 2 mana, a 2-2. Two, two. And whenever you cast a multicolored spell, create a 1-1 one, one white human creature token. The Guild Gate and another token. Goblin. So two packs left. Uh, Regenesis, uh, Ors of Enforcer, we have uh, Collision and Colossus, and as another rare, Judith the Scourge, Diva, nice, also a Rakdos card, that fits ni nice into the theme, um, it's a 2-2, uh, other creatures you control get plus 1 plus 0, and whenever a non-token creature you control dies, Judith the Scourge, Diva, deals 1 damage to any target, and we have a Foil Scourge Mark, which is a common and another token. Mm -hmm. 
Sentinel's Mark, uh, Ors of Racketeers, Combined Guild Mage, and our final rare for this pack, the Guardian Project. Uh, for four, we have an enchantment. Whenever a non-token creature enters the battlefield under your control, if it doesn't have the same name as another creature you control or a creature card in your graveyard, draw a card. And a Sphinx token. Right, so that's it for uh, the Rakdos pack. Very cool. Now, next up we will open... Um, well, let's open up the Ors of One. Maybe we'll get a Kaya. Who knows? And we have Prestige, Obligation and Opulence. With a Ors of Die, which is blue, black and white. Hmm, alright. And of course the five boosters. And this one. And we have, ooh, Seraph of the Scales, nice. Very, very cool card. It's a Mythic, so we have a Mythic promo. Very cool. Um, it's a 4 mana Angel, 4 3 flying, and for 1 white she gets Vigilance until end of turn, and for black Death Touch. And there's Afterlife 2. That's quite nice. Now I won't be showing uh, the code for this pack. The first one was a freebie, the rest not. So I will just put that somewhere else. Right, an Ors of Locket. I think all of these things have at least one locket. Uh, Knight of the Last Breath, a Blood Mist Infiltrator, um, Ministrant of Obligation, Undercity's Embrace, a Grasping Thrall, a Catacomb Crocodile, Impassioned Orator, a Viscopa Vampire, Blade Brand, Twilight Panther, Final Payment, Bring to Trial, and an Ors of Guildgate. To start it all off with, Ors of Pack. Okay, then we have another Ministrant of Obligation. Uh, we have Light Up the Stage, nice, very good card. Uh, Troll Bread Guardian, and as our rare, we have a Be Deck and Be Dazzled. Which is a split card. The first one is an instant for two. Target creature gets plus three, minus three until end of turn. And Bedazzle is for six an instant. Destroy target non-basic land. Uh, it deals two damage to target opponent or uh, planeswalker. All right. So that's one. Wilderness Reclamation. Also a very good card. Uh, depose and deploy. We have Rhythm of the Wild, and we have oh nice a Blood Crypt, our first Shockland of the uh, bunch, and it's a Swamp Mountain. Very cool. Needed that one badly because I only had one. All right. Sentinel's Mark, uh, Flames of the Race Boar. Uh, mortify, and we have a Gutter Bones. For one, it's a 2 1 that enters the battlefield tapped, and then for two, it returns uh, from the graveyard to your hand. You can activate it only uh, during your turn, and only if an opponent lost life this turn. Not too hard. And we have a Foil Gravel Hide Goblin. Alright, two more packs to go for the Orzov box. We have a Spire Mangler, a Bullrack Clan Crusher, a Frilled Mystic, and a Rix Madi Reveler. For 2, a 2 2 with Spectacle 4. Uh, when it enters the battlefield, discard a card and draw a card. If Rix Madi uh, Reveler's Spectacle cost was paid, instead discard your hand, then draw 3 cards. Alrighty then. And then for the final pack. Tin Street Dodger, 
Sphinx of the Guild Pact, ba- b- Sphinx of the Guild Pact, Gate Colossus, and we have a Lumbering Battlement. For five, it's a four or five Vigilance. When it enters the battlefield, exile any number of other non-token creatures you control until it leaves the battlefield. And then Lumbering Battlement gets plus two, plus two for each card exiled with it. All right, so that's it for the Orzov pack. Now next up, we will take a look at Azorius. I will leave the Simic for last because that's my favorite guild of all time. Ever since it uh, first saw the light of day during the days of dissension. I've always loved Simic. Right, order, authority and control. The Law Mages Guild, Azorius. Beautiful die, white and blue. Then we have five more boosters. And what do we get here? The Hero of Precinct 1, we've seen that card before, but now we get a pre-release card of it. Very sweet. Also, the code card. Uh, Locket, uh, Depose, Deploy. We have Forbidding Spirits, Windstorm Drake, uh, 10th District Veteran, Arrestors, Admonition, Clear the Mind, uh, Homunculus, Coral Commando, Summary, Judgment, Bring to Trial, Watchful Giant, Senate Courier, and an Azorius Guildgate. Now then. Start off with a Macabre Mockery, a Sky Tether, High Alert, and as our first rare, Judith the Scourge Diva. We've seen this card already, still a nice card. Sphinx's Inside, Foil, beautiful foil. Okay, Bankrupt in Blood, a Zuerta Goblin. Trollbred Guardian, and we have another Bedevil. Still, good card, good enough. I'll take that. Uh, Rally to Battle, Silhana Wayfinder, Hacrobat, and we have a Priest of the Forgotten Gods. For two, it's a one two that. Uh, w- if you uh, tap it, sacrifice two other creatures. Any number of target players lo- uh, each lose two life and sacrifice a creature. You add two black and draw a card. Now I haven't seen any mythics from the regular packs. That's a bit of a shame. Uh, Blood Mist Infiltrator, Knight of the Last Breath, Clan Guildmage, and another Gutter Bones. But still, these packs are, uh, well, there's not really a pattern in here, because every box can be different. So that's not that's not totally un- unexpected. Uh, Sphinx of the Guild Pact, Spirit of the Spires, Dovin's Acuity, and we have, ooh, nice, Speaking of the Devil, a Mythic. And the best one of the set, the most expensive one as well. Uh, Hydroid Crassis. Uh, Crassis. Um, two mana and X, it's a zero, 0 and when you cast a spell you gain half X life and draw half X cards. Round down each time. It's a flying trample and it enters the battlefield with X plus 1 plus 1 counters on it. Very nice. Lucky to have that card. So that's it for the Azorius box and now we go over to the Simic. Maybe we get another Hydroid Crosses. Oh, there goes the camera again. As it so often does. Right. Mutation, evolution and progress. We start off with, uh, oh yeah, of course, the weirdest die of them all. It's a green one with blue. 
for a uh, uh, sorry green and white for a blue green guild that's a bit weird still the five packs and we have the pack here which promo will it be oh ho, 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 nice the hydroid crosses Woo! <laughs> well that's uh, probably the most expensive promo as well from this uh, set wow that's really nice all right well cool uh simic locket sphinx of the guild pact uh combined guild mage we have a wilderness reclamation steeple creeper a fairy duelist uh, applied biomancy clear the mind territorial boar skitter eel growth spiral sorrow form hybrids chillbringer Simi Guildgate. Oh, and there's a code card. Well, there you have it. Right. On to the packs. Starting off with Swirling Torrent. Clan Guildmage. Windstorm Drake. And we have an Ethereal Absolution. For six, an enchantment, creatures you control get plus one, plus one. Creatures your opponents control get minus one, minus one. And then for four, exile target card from an opponent's graveyard. If it was a spirit card, uh, sorry, a creature card, you create a one, one white and black spirit creature token with flying. Right, we have a guild gate and a token. Appropriately, the spirit. Ministrant of Obligation, Essence Capture, Cult Guild Mage, and another mythic, Angel of Grace. For 5 we get a 5-4 Flying Flash. Uh, when it enters the battlefield until end of turn, damage that would reduce your life total to less than 1 reduces it to 1 instead. Cool. And then for 6 you can exile her from your graveyard and your life total becomes 10. Sweet. Okay. Smelt Ward Ignis, Sunder Shaman, a Vindictive Vampire, another Judith. Well, <laughs> that makes three. All right, two more. Uh, Screaming Shield, a Tin Street Dodger, Rakdos Firewheeler, and ooh, a Godless Shrine. Nice, another Shockland. The Ors of One. And then for our final pack. Gatebreaker Ram, Angelic Exaltation, Eyes Everywhere, and another Gutter Bones. And a foil Depter's Transport. Well, there you have it. Two of the Hydroid Crosses in one video. Of which one is a promo. Very sweet. Uh, yeah, that's it. Thank you all for watching and uh, see you guys next time. Bye bye.